Hello again. Last time we were talking about the Earth. We established that the Bible strongly indicates that the Earth is stationary. I'd like to share a few interesting quotes with you. Many people are under the impression we long ago proved that the Earth moves around the Sun, while spinning on its axis. Let's see what Einstein has to say on this subject. This is from my book entitled The Evolution of Physics. The struggle so violent in the early days of science, between the views of Ptolemy and Copernicus would then be quite meaningless. Either coordinate system could be used with equal justification. The two sentences, the sun is at rest and the earth moves, or the sun moves and the earth is at rest, would simply mean two different conventions concerning two different coordinate systems. So, what are you saying, Albert? I'm saying that it is all dependent on the perspective that we choose to assume. For example, if you assume that the Earth is at rest and that all the other celestial bodies move, you can make calculations and predictions which can be empirically confirmed. But the same happens if you assume that it is the Sun which is at rest and the Earth is moving. So then, both models are empirically equivalent, correct? From a purely empirical point of view both models are empirically equivalent, and hence there is no scientific justification at all to consider that one of them is the correct one. But wasn't your theory of relativity created to try and overcome the problem posed by Michelson and Morley, whose experiments indicated a stationary Earth? Yes, that is true. We had to come up with something. After all, everyone knows Earth isn't stationary. To deny the obvious conclusion of a stationary Earth, we had to get rid of the ether, and that's where my theory became rather handy. Can you read what you said in 1922 about what led you to the theory of relativity? While I was thinking of this problem in my student years, I came to know of the strange result of Michelson's experiment. Soon I came to the conclusion that our idea about the motion of the Earth with respect to the ether is incorrect, if we admit Michelson's null result as a fact. This was the first path that led me to the special theory of relativity. Since then I have come to believe that the motion of the Earth cannot be detected by any optical experiment, though the Earth is revolving around the Sun. But Albert, is it logical to dismiss the possibility that the Earth is not revolving around the Sun just because you don't want to believe it is possible? Imagination is more important than knowledge. Do you know that for sure? Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. Goodbye, Albert. Stocky, get me out of here, please.